What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more ABBA. And we're back for one of the two remaining bonus tracks included in this expanded folder for the 1981 album, The Visitors. And this track is You Owe Me One. I feel like it's a phrase that people often use after they assist in some crucial capacity, another person's plight or situation, um, or perhaps, you know, bail them out of a tough spot. So ultimately, um, it suggests a balance when it comes to obligations, or at least, um, you know, sort of an agreement uh, that if one has been helped in this significant way, then at some point in the future, if the narrator needs to call on this other person for a similar reason, assistance, help, you know, um, escaping a tough spot, then they should be available to provide that service. So uh, let's find out what specific narrative or situational context this is in. This is ABBA, the tune is You Owe Me One, and it's a bonus track included in this expanded folder for the 1981 album, The Visitors. <laughs> I feel like it reminds me of the, the light romps of some of the you know tracks from the early albums as I was going through them and I remember I kept saying it's like the one feeling that keeps coming back is fun. Now admittedly embedded in some of those tunes which I came to understand better was a melancholy or a complicated emotional feeling and it's fair to say as time has gone on and we've gone later and later in their original run I feel like the melancholy factor has come more to the fore. It's become more of like the primary flavor of some of the tunes as opposed to sort of, you know, embedded within a light sonic journey. <clears throat> but 
but this one did have that light, um, fun feeling to it, so I enjoyed that. But it's interesting, because what I caught from the lyrics sounds like, you know, look what you've caused me to do, and it's like, maybe, you know, it's like, it's my turn to run, so, like, you owe me one, so maybe the other person cheated on them or something, and now they're gonna have their moment in the sun, and they're gonna, you know, enjoy things. But then it's like, you know, she's feeling far away from the love, so it's like, I'm not quite sure the nature of the dynamic between the narrator and this other person who at least seems to be a former lover, if not like a current partner. And indeed, it sounds like there was a past situation which now is justifying what the narrator is doing. And, you know, she's drawing attention to that, say, hey, you owe me one. But she's using the word babe, which, you know, it's a term of affection that you typically don't use for someone who, you know, there's been a a severe severing with, so lyrically I'm intrigued by that one, but I couldn't quite follow it. Uh, and yeah, sonically I enjoyed the pulsing bass, um, I enjoyed the polyphonic voices in a couple moments where, you know, there's lines running in different directions, and I think my favorite thing, which I was trying to comment on, is the way in which those um, crescendos, where the vocals and the sonics would sort of build up to a high level, and then those backing vocals would sort of, you know, um, float the track back down to a more like neutral or like starting like level. So I enjoyed the the progression, the composition of the tune once again, which you know that's a hallmark going back to the earliest album um, where I you know have consistently noticed like like careful and clever thought when it comes to the way a tune is put together or the way it progresses over the course of the track. So another cool tune, a shorter one, and again, it's a bit more of a lighthearted romp, so I can understand my, why maybe that didn't fit into the overall vibe of the visitors, which, which was a bit heavier. Um, so yeah, either way, a cool tune. Uh, let me know what you think, and we have one more to go through before we're finally on to a much more recent um, Abbott Journey, and there's a couple, like, extra tracks that people mention. <clears throat> I'll have to go back and see, again, I'm sure through, you know, whether through Adam's collection or maybe in a couple cases where he doesn't have the tunes, because I remember, you know, he did point out that sometimes if he doesn't, uh, if he's not particularly fond of a tune, it won't actually be in the folder, but I'll try to go through everything and we'll make sure we do, but again, as far as I know, in terms of the initial, like, run, We'll go through one more tune, go through Voyage, and then, um, you know, we'll see what is available after that. So, bottom line, I Am The City comes next. Let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.